All right, legends, welcome back, and congratulations to all who have made it this far. A couple videos ago, we talked about sound and music effects. In this video, I want to introduce audio and video effects. So, what we've got is we've got a couple clips down here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this was the sound and music effects. What we're going to do is not click on this one. This is to bring up, uh, this is to import your photos and your videos from your photos app right down here. What we want to do is click on this one. This one is the key to the city. Now there's a lot, there's a lot going on and Final Cut Pro 10 did a great job categorizing it. So the best way is to play around with stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and click on, I've got color right here. I'll just click quickly do a black and white. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it to this clip right here. This is a shot of me uh, doing some audio, testing out some microphones. So I'm going to put it right here, just like that. Now my clip is black and white. And you can take as many clips as you want and keep putting them over each other. We'll go to blur. We'll go to, we can add a mask, uh, text effects, light. This is going to be like some UFO type of abduction type app, something like that. Go ahead and play. It was going to be a video game commentary channel where I'd pair beers with it. It would be like, today we're going to pair Street Fighter 2. That's kind of annoying, but that's kind of the dish. Play around with these for about 15, 20 minutes. If you want to get rid of it, or if you want to, what what I do is hit um, Control V for video effects and Control A for audio effects. So hit Control V. Now I've got the black and white, and I've got the flashing. I want to get rid of both these. Uh, so what you do is just highlight over each one of them and hit Delete, and you'll go ahead and get those out of there. And these are your defaults. These show up by default. This is all your stuff that shows up up here as well. So I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click that and get that out of there. Now what I want to do is I want to add some video effects. So you've got your audio up here. Now scroll down here to, I'm sorry, I said that backwards. I want to do some audio effects. We've got our video up here and down here we've got our audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, I don't know, I want like the monster voice. So what I'm going to do is, let's see here, click on voice and I'm going to add monster just like that, and I'm going to add, yeah, let's do monster first. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it. Hopefully you guys can hear this. Let me go ahead and pull my computer speakers a little bit closer towards. Let's check it out. The idea was that it was gonna be a video game commentary channel where I'd pair beers with it. It was be like, today we're gonna pair Street Fighter 2 with Stone IPA. That's the voice you always see in like America's Most Wanted when the guy doesn't want his voice recognized. So it's got like the censorship voice and they do them in black and white. And I'll put a robot on top of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. And it's going to be like a robot monster. Let's see how this pans out. I was thinking at the time, but it was just like complete conflict of interest, right? Like somebody from Canada or some part of the world. <laughs> Play around with this for about 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, it's really fun just to add effects and not have to have plugins or spend any more money. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this for the time being. And let's go ahead and it's always control A to bring up audio and control V to bring up video. So I've got my audio right here. What I'm going to do is click on both these and get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. So it is back to normal. So let's go ahead and play it. It would be like, today we're going to pair Street Fighter 2 with Stone IPA. And I thought I could have fun with it. And then I did homebrew. So that's kind of the gist, guys. Play around with it. In the next video, I want to talk about fisheye. Fisheye is very important. A lot of people buy fisheye lenses. And uh, if you do it Final Cut Pro uh, post-production, you can save a lot of money. And I just want to go and play around that with that video effect so good luck with this i'll see you guys over there and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments please post them in the comment section below i love answering your questions i love seeing your feedback and i'll see you guys in the next movie and good luck